hi and welcome back to another retro remake review. Today we are looking at the Nottingham Forest home shirt from the 94-96 season. Now for me this shirt brings back a lot of memories as one of my friends used to wear this shirt back when we were younger playing football down the park. So yeah a lot of good memories for me this one. The shirt itself comes in a standard bag no umbro branding on the side and on the flip side we have our usual health warnings. The shirt was purchased off DHK and it took 10 days to arrive. If you are new around here, then please hit the subscribe button as I do these reviews on a weekly basis, trying to show you what these shirts look like. Also leave any comments or messages below around this shirt, tell me if there's stuff that you've noticed that's wrong, or if there's any just questions in general. Also let me know if any shirts you'd like me to review in the future, always interested to know which ones. So let's get this bag open and let's check out this Nottingham Forest home shirt from 94-96. Okay, starting at the top of the shirt and straight away it's got my favourite, it's got a collar on it. And down, a little bit of loose um, stitch in there but nothing really to worry about at all. So the collar looks absolutely fine. Moving down the arms, this is definitely, as you can tell, it's a retro shirt because of the size of it. It's got a nice, nice big gap there for where an arm would go through. Ooh, the Umbro badge is not looking that great. Ooh, I'm not sure. There's a lot of, I don't know, just doesn't, it's not very clear. It's very wonky. Mm, disappointing on that. The forest badge itself, though, looks okay. The font looks all right. Yeah, that looks okay. The sponsor built into the shirt, so it's printed in there, so no concerns with that whatsoever. Checking the underarms, and they look nice and secure. Moving down to the bottom of the shirt, let's just have a look at the hemline, which looks spot on. And you cannot see my hand through it. Whether that's because it's red, I don't know, but you can't see my hand. Um, looking outside the camera, I can't see my hand either, so I would say it's a little bit thicker than some of them. I have just noticed there's a mark on the shirt there. Oh, a little bit of loose stitching just on the sleeve on that side. So apart from that poor umbro, it's not looking too bad. Looking at the reverse. Colour looks good. And if I move down now, you can see the tag through that. So maybe the material is a little bit thinner. Maybe it's just because it's red and you just can't see a hand through it. The stitching looks good on the back. And on this side of the arm, all looks good. I do like the umbro print in the shirt itself. It's really nice. And moving down again to the hemline. Stitching looks nice and secure. There's a crease there, that's just where the shirt's been in the back, so nothing to worry about there. Let's give you the full view. Then we'll look at the inside. Okay, continuing around the collar, looking at the inside. Got a fair bit of loose stitching down there, but some scissors will sort that out. If you were to cut it, it will not ruin the collar line itself. Badge, you can see it's been sewn on really well. A little bit of loose stitching there, but that's expected. So I would just grab a pair of scissors to sort that out. The umbro looks just as bad on the back as it did the front. Such a shame. It's easily the worst manufacturer we've seen. The sponsor says so printed in, so no concerns over that at all. As we move down, we do have some... Is the washing instructions? It is. It's our washing instructions. And it is an umbro one. So this will be a hand wash only, as it is a DHK shirt, so make sure you do put it in on that setting. I do have a video uploaded that shows what would happen if you were to put a shirt in normally. Let's give you the view of the shirt from the inside. One quick check, I didn't look at the under the arms. That looks nice and secure, so no worries there. Go final side, and there's quite a lot of loose stitching 
under the collar there, which is a shame. Umbro Tag XL. What does that say? Oh, I thought I said medium, but it's minimum. Um, so yeah, it says XL, but it is a DHK shirt. It's going to be more like a large. And it comes with a standard Umbro Tag. It just says football shirts on it, not jersey. That's interesting. Stitching continues to be okay on the arms. No worries with that. And then jumping down to the bottom again, just look at the final part of the hemline. It looks good. Make my hand out a little bit more this way around, look. So that's your full overview. So there we go. That is a Nottingham Forest home shirt from 94-96. Um, as I mentioned in the intro, it has got a lot of good memories for me, this shirt, because one of my friends used to wear this all the time. So, so yeah, it's definitely got a place close to my heart. Um, for me, though, it's just a shame that Umbro looks so awful. When you're further out, it's not as noticeable, which is okay. Um, so you could get away wearing it. It's just when you get close up to it, it doesn't look that great. Um, so, so, yeah. That's my Nottingham Forest review for you. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I do these reviews on a weekly basis. So leave any comments, questions below, either about this shirt or anything in general. And also let me know of any shirts you'd like me to look at, as I'm always interested to know what ones you would like to see. Delivery timescales on this shirt was 10 days, so all good there. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.